New Shock claimed JFK was murdered by CIA days after demanding UFO files and NASA visit President John F. Kennedy was shot dead because he demanded the release of top-secret UFO files from the CIA. An alien researcher has sensationally claimed the claim was made after U.S. presidential Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton vowed to get to the bottom of an alleged UFO cover-up high within the government. Scott C. Waring, editor of UFO Sightings Daily, posted copies to his website of a letter sent by JFK to the then head of the CIA just 10 days before he was murdered. He wrote, Presidential candidate Hillary Clinton doesn't know it yet, but she does not have the power to release such information. CIA would kill her before she could, just like they did JFK. Yes, just a week before his death JFK wrote a memo to CIA to release all pertinent info to NASA, but somehow he was killed before it ever happened. I was the first to publish this document in my book UFO Sighting. 20,060,2009. The memo is a confirmed declassified document released by the CIA, Mr. Waring added. JFK wrote the memo to CIA on November 12, 1963. Then on November 22, 1963, he was killed. Hillary will be too scared of the CIA to release such information. The memo asked for a breakdown of identified and unidentified sightings the CIA was aware of. JFK wrote, It would be very helpful if you would have the high threat cases reviewed with the purpose of identification of bona fide as opposed to classified CIA and USAF sources. It is important that we make a clear distinction between the knowns and unknowns in the event. The Soviets try to mistake our extended cooperation as a cover for intelligence gathering of their defense and space programs. I would like you to arrange a program of data sharing with NASA where unknowns are a factor. On the same day JKF sent a separate memo to NASA asking for cooperation with the former Soviet. Union on Mutual Outer Space Activities. It is understood JFK was concerned about the high amount of UFO sightings over Russia and feared the Soviets would wrongly believe it was U.S. spying equipment. Four days later on November 16, 1963 he visited NASA at Cape Canaveral, Florida, which further fuels the conspiracists' theory. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and leave comments below. Thank you.